Hi everybody, just thought I'd make a short video on how I put a motor on my Igus slider. Um, I thought I'd take it apart and just show you how it works. Um, this is just a shelving bracket that I put on here, it allowed me to move the camera all around. You don't need to use this if you want, but I found it helpful if you want to put the camera a bit further forward. Um, so that's just a bracket which I cut down there. Now you could put, just put the tripod straight onto here if you wanted to, or you could even mount it onto one of these brackets here. Um, this is just a plastic plate that came off a box that I found in the um, local e electronics shop. Um, so that's just a bit of plastic there. Um, should I just take off? Um, it came off this box here, so as you can see, nothing fancy. Okay, so down the bottom here, I've got uh, basically just some washers and a kid's skateboard bearing which I've put on here, uh, just half of one, and then a couple more washers underneath. And that's just a long bolt which goes through the actual end of the Igus slider there. Uh, so that's pretty simple. And on here I've got, uh, I've attached the plate which I was able to put a motor on here by using a U-bolt. Um, when I mounted it on there, I just put a couple of washers underneath like this just to just to, just to keep it away from the plate um, so it just allows it to spin freely so what you want to do is just um, get that right in the middle of the like a triangle there so it just evenly drives the motor uh, put a couple of micro switches on over here and wired it, up, wired it up with a simple switch which I'll show you the front of that in a minute and also I've just put a new battery on here which is um, I saw on Cheesy Camp and I'll put a bit of Velcro on there just to keep it in, in place. So this is one of those uh, DC 12 volt batteries. And um, just put a wire on here. Uh, I'm going to shorten the wire, but I've only just put this on. And um, yeah, it's just basic, basically here. Yeah, there's a switch there to turn it on. And I'll show you the other side in a second. So we're just coming around the front now, and this is the DC to DC converter that I got from the local electronics shop. Um, basically it allows me to speed it up or slow it down. Um, at the moment you've got to do it with the screwdriver, which is a little bit fiddly, but it, it does the trick. Um, this is the U-bolts that I put on here. This is a couple of caps that are put on here to hide the bolts. Um, this is a simple switch that goes right and goes left and stops in the middle. Um, I'll just turn it on for a second. That's it moving to the right. That's it moving to the left. And you can slow it right down by doing that. Goes pretty slow, as you can see. I'm just in the process of tidying up these wires. This is the actual cable that came with the battery. It was already cut off one end, so I'm just going to make that shorter and just tidy that up a bit. Um, this is what I put over the top of the motor just to hide it a bit. That was only a bit of PVC pipe which I cut down and put an end cap on there. That just sits over the motor just to sort of hide it up, you know, just so you don't knock the motor. Um, but that's basically it. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks.